Uh, antes, ah, eh, te, okay. vamos a ir con el público tantito, pero uh, antes de eso, interrumpo rápidamente porque tenemos un, un invitado aquí en la, en la cabina de radio. ¿De they tell you this was in Spanish or no? No. It's, Talk in Spanish. Yeah, are you ready for you go to Spanish, right? No. Okay, perfect. We'll, we'll, <laughs> then, then it's going to be a great interview. So, voy a cambiarlo. Voy a, vamos a hacer esto en inglés. Eh, tenemos a un invitado el día de hoy desde el Toyota Center, Jabari Smith eh, Jr., que llega con nosotros el día de hoy, que es eh, Miria de aquí con los Houston Rockets. Y sí, sabemos que, que no habla español y que es un programa de radio en español, pero eh, creo que la mayoría de las personas entenderá y lo hablaremos cortito nada más para poder saludarlo y este y mm -hmm. ver qué nos espera en esta temporada. Eh, Jabari, welcome to, uh, to the... In fact, I want to... I think I'm going to say you, you're the first... Uh, All English interview we've had on the show. Really? So you, you, you're the first one on, on the radio with us, all English. All English, wow. First. I'll have take you, it. Have you done radio before? Yes, I've done it before. Oh, so, so you're used to the mic. You're used to yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Did, used to it. Now, coming into the NBA, this wasn't a shock for you? Uh, having, you know, all, all those cameras and all those lights? Um, no, I think in college it was, it was, it was to an extent. But um, at this level, I feel like it's, it's more and it's like more a part of your job now. So I feel like. What's, what, what was the biggest shock for you when, once you come into the NBA? What, what's been the biggest shock for you so far? Um, biggest shock, I would say the the attention to detail, how competitive it is, and and how focused everybody is, and and how hard working. What working about on the outside is. with the fans? Um, the fans can say a lot. They just, they can say a lot, and there's really no backlash for you. you just got it's just something you got to deal with, really. Do you get some sort of uh, preparation for this? Uh, do, do they give you some sort of, look, this is what's going to go down. This is how people are going to probably treat you. This is what you can expect. Or um, just kind of learn as you go. Somewhat. You know, in Vegas, we had a little rookie transition program, and they try to tell you what to expect and try to prepare you for, for the lifestyle and what's coming next. So I feel like they did a good job of preparing you for it and um, and, and and telling you what to expect. But you can't. You can't really, really learn from it and, and get through it unless you really experience it. So, take, take us back to the draft night for one second. Um, I think most of us were we were hoping you'd come to Houston, but most mm -hmm. of us were not expecting you'd actually uh, mm -hmm. come to Houston, to Houston through the draft. Um, at what point did you find out Houston was going to be your your uh, your location? Um, after the first pick went and the second pick went, I knew that I was I was definitely going to Houston. You know what I mean? Um, So it was almost general, a surprise for you as well. Um, a little bit of a surprise, but um, I knew I, I knew how good the top three was, and it can go in any order. So you know, it is what it is. I'm happy to be here. And uh, so far, Houston, how's it treating you? Uh, um, it's treating treating me great. Um, the city's similar to where I'm from, Atlanta. So I'm loving it. You know what I mean? This is a great city. I love it. Awesome. And what what are your expectations uh, from the fans uh, mm -hmm. coming in, into this season? Uh, what what do you expect from the fans, and what mm -hmm. can the expe what what can the fans expe expect from you? Um, I hope to see a lot of sold out games, a lot of a lot of packed crowds. Um, um, I see they're really excited about this season, about uh, about what this team can do in the, in, in the near future in this season. So, you know, you're just gonna get somebody who's playing hard, somebody who's who's ready for the moment, somebody who's not gonna back down from nobody, and just and just leave it all out there. You know, what I'm saying I'm all about winning, and that's what I'm. That, that's what I'm here to do. Which ones are the guys that you click with off the court? Um, off the court, I feel like on this team I click with most is probably Tari, Tata, and Trevor, the rookies, okay. I would say. But um, as the season keeps going, you know, I've only been here for, what, a, f a few months, you know what I mean? Still haven't gotten into real practices yet. So um, I've had all t in, um, interactions and, and done stuff with, like, Jason Tate, uh, Jalen Green, and Josh. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting pretty close to everybody as the season goes on. You grew up a uh, Hawks fan, or um, I would say kind of in between. I was I was a Hawks fan with like Joe Johnson and Josh Smith. So yeah, I would say I was a Hawks, I was a Hawks fan for a minute. And then um, I fell in love with LeBron. <laughs> okay, and whatever, whatever team he was on, that's so, what I was a so fan. So you in Cleveland, Miami? Yeah, I was bouncing all around. Oh, that's cool. Well, that that happens. That happens once you know you you uh, you pick a player that that you really like and you just come from around. That's yeah. I think that that's fair. That's fair. Jamari, well, thanks again for coming on the show with us, and uh, you know, give give the fans a message. Uh, send send them a uh, you know send them vibes and, and mm -hmm. invite them over to uh, to the Rockets games this season. Um, I hope to see y'all at the Rockets games. You know what I mean? We just gonna come with a lot of energy. Um, we're a hungry team, tired of losing, and try to. Try to flip this thing around. Yeah, I like it. Uh, when when they when they tell you rockets and they say reconstruction uh, of the team, what's mm -hmm. what, what goes through your mind? Um, I feel like I'm a, a big focal point of this reconstruction. I feel like it's 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 my job to to work hard every day, um, give it my all, and just 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 do the best that I can to to bring what I know I can bring to this team. 
I'm going to put my co-host on the spot. Uh, he hasn't practiced English in like 15 years. Octavio, you got a question for Jabari? No, no, no. Todo bien, todo bien. Lo, lo, lo entendí perfectamente bien. Come on. Sé quiénes son sus cuatachos. Sé que los Rockies son sus cuatachos. Eh, eh, so, so he speaks pero, English, but uh -huh. he's, very, he's been very shy right now. Come on. You, you can... One question, Octavio. One. Ah, no lo sé, no lo sé. <laughs> yeah, he, so so this guy lived in England for, uh -huh. for a few years, but now he, he hasn't spoken English in like I don't know, fifteen years. So now he's he's having yeah, trouble. Years okay. So he's been shy. He's been shy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So everybody on here who did this interview speaks Spanish a little bit? No, no. Actually, the only one that speaks Spanish is Usman. Oh, okay. yeah. No, but what I was saying is you're the only you you're the first. Uh, really athlete or anyone that doesn't speak Spanish that's on the show. Oh, and, okay. And, I see and what you the Spanish radio station. Yeah, so, oh, okay. so I'm sure everybody, <laughs> everybody, everyone outside is thinking like, whoa, am I, am I on the wrong station right uh, now? No, she's not in sorry the about that. No, no it's, it's fine. If people, you know, you're in Houston and I think most of the audience understands at uh -huh. least some English nowadays. It's not, it's not like, uh, like back in, you know, uh, 50 years ago when I started radio, it's now, now everyone speaks a little English. We're, okay. we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Well, once again, welcome to Houston. Uh, yes, wish you nothing but success and we have, we hope we have a great season. Thank this, you so uh, much. Appreciate it. All right. Javari Smith, uh, con nosotros aquí en Encanchados, uh, TUDN Radio 93.3 FM, tu estación de campeones.